Welcome back to another follow along with me, Miss B. We are in week five of quarter four. We're gonna explore some more pop art with artist Yayoi Kasama. This is Yayoi Kasama. And you can see her artwork is full of bright colors and she loves polka dots. A lot of her art is very big. You could walk under it, that's how big it is. A lot of her installations you can walk through and be surrounded by all of her polka dots and bright colors. This is one of her more famous pumpkins. This week we're going to explore trying to recreate one of her famous polka dot pumpkins. So we're going to start with our paper and a pencil. And we want to start off by drawing a very large pumpkin and we're going to do this in pieces. So we're going to start with the center piece first. A nice curvy shape that takes up a very big portion of our paper. You'll notice it kind of looks like a squash right now, but we are gonna add some more lines to turn this into a nice big pumpkin. So we're gonna start on one side, make a nice curvy line that connects at the top and the bottom. Now, these sides do not need to match. They don't have to be that thick, you can make them thin. It all depends on how you want to draw your pumpkin. So I'm making sure mine is nice and big and the spaces in between are nice and thick. Again, we go back up to the top, make a curvy line going down to connect at the bottom on both sides. And we're going to do this a third time. So I'll have three extra lines on both sides of our squash shape, which will give us a pumpkin shape. So we do want to give our pumpkin a little stem up a up at the top. I messed mine up quite a few times, I just didn't like the way it came out, so you'll see me erase it quite a few times. So the next thing we want to do is grab a black marker. If you did not bring your markers to school today, um, you can do this in black crayon. And we want to trace the outline of our pencil lines to get a nice bold pumpkin on the paper.
So here we have this nice, big, cartoon-looking pumpkin. It's got a funny shape to it. We've traced it, made it nice and bold. Now we want to start to put our dots, our polka dots on the pumpkin. I'm going to use a black marker. I'm going to let you guys choose what colors you're going to do your polka dots in. We just want to make sure that we have large polka dots and we have small polka dots. So if you are using a marker, we can color out a polka dot just like I'm doing here by just making a circular motion to fill in a polka dot shape. These are going to be my large polka dots. And then if you remember back to our Lichtenstein project where we did the band-aid dots, we just kind of put our marker on the paper and lifted it up to create a dot. That's how I'm going to create my smaller dots is just by dotting the paper with my marker and pulling it back up. So let's take another look at these polka dots here. There's three different sizes. You have a really large one in the middle if you'd like, and then they gradually get smaller as they go towards the line. So that's what we're gonna kind of do, but in a simpler way. And here's some examples of some first grade and kindergarten pumpkins that were done previously. So as you can see, the dots are not all done in black marker. Um, pumpkins aren't orange or yellow, so really have fun with your colors and your polka dots with this project. For the sake of time for class, I am going to speed up me creating the polka dots and coloring in. Everybody else, take your time. Really just take your time with your polka dots, with their different sizes and their colors. So I am trying to make patterns with my dots, keeping them in lines of threes or fours. Remembering that my larger polka dots are gonna be towards the center and my smaller ones towards the outside. Now, I did mess up a little bit here by going in and filling in with more polka dots. I just felt that it was a little empty.
So again, my larger polka dots are towards the center. And then my smaller polka dots will be towards the outside. Now I am only doing two sizes of polka dots, a large and a small. You guys can do as many sizes as you want. But try to stay in pattern.
So you will see I'm not making an orange pumpkin. I have lots of colors on my pumpkin. Um, orange, green, pink, and blue is what I've chosen for my pumpkin.
So those of you that might finish early, although I don't think anybody's really going to finish early on this one, you can go ahead and create your shattered background just like in her paintings and creations. And that's just making lines here all over the place in the background, almost kind of like a stained glass window. So because of time, I am not going to be coloring in my background, but again, those of you that may have finished this and you want to color in their, your background or my mobile students at home, if you want extra time or have extra time, you can certainly go ahead and color in your background before you submit it. And there we have our Yoyoi Kasama pumpkin. Don't forget to submit your assignment on Schoology for full credit. You can email me with any questions you might have on this assignment. Don't forget to click the like button everyone and have a nice day.